two more guest cancellations, so we're still going to do a one shot. So uh, it's going to be kind of fun. It's just us uh, hobos. Yeah, it's a little stringy. Uh, yeah. All all hobos all night long. Follow yeah. Us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like a phone case or a shower curtain or a duvet cover, uh, check out our shop. I think there's a sale going on. You'll have to check my Twitter. I don't know. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot like tonight, or on the Tuesday talk show, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. We will get you on there. Uh, we'd like to thank our uh, sponsors. Yeah, that's the name of them. Sponsors uh, like Pirate Dog Dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter for custom dice, which I did not have to use last night during the Gen Con game because my players rolled poorly themselves, uh, which was a <laughs> unique experience. It's, you know, kind of like living vicariously through the cred campaign uh let let us not forget uh if your game stinks try some adventure sense uh they do not have murder hobo ink success because that smell is trademarked by us and you can't have it uh they also make the shine system so if you want to write stuff like me only gooder uh try the shine system and of course uh we've mentioned it all week long the How to RPG with Your Cat Kickstarter is live and already funded. We're going through the stretch goals now. So if you want to oh. take a look at that, I have played it. I had a good time. Uh, it is fun. Them. There's even the opportunity to uh, get chain mail for your cat if you want to bid high enough. Uh, that being said, uh, let's move on. Let's introduce you to the cast. I'll go bottom to top. We will start with David. David, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm David, and tonight I will be playing Adam. He is the Vidalkin um, life cleric. Uh, but you can usually catch me on the Calamity campaign. I play Ingve and uh, also play Crow on the B side. Uh, I'm also Zadar on the Cacophony campaign, which may or may not be wrapping up. We'll find out. So, I don't know. It's still trolling along, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And between the roles, you can catch me on there usually. So, yep. uh, very good. And next up is Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, everyone. My name, as he said, my name is Carol. I am on, let's see, on this channel, I, I can be seen on between the roles at times, not <coughs> as much as I used to. Uh, I also play Andre Jaeger on Thursday night's Cred campaign. We just had an awesome session, so go check it out in our archives or on here because uh, the episode's still up. Uh, let's see what else. Um, tonight I'm playing Kalista Theron, a uh, human war cleric. Ha ha. We'll find out. Are we get, are we're going to find out which is worse cantrips. Or a friggin' attack as a bonus action. And, nice. oh, and also, I'm a, well, I didn't do the usual. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commissioned mini painter who now has her own stream on muses underscore touch. There we go. Very nice. Next up, Rob. Same question, different answers. I would hope so. I um, hope so. <laughs> I'm Rob. Um, you can find me at Cthulhu Rob on all them social thingies. And yeah. also... Um, I, I, I played Dave on Calamity A side and Brother Cup on Calamity B side and various other miscreants on one shots as they appear. Tonight, I'm going to be playing Thumper and Thumper, uh, <clears throat> I vow that your corpse will not go to waste. <laughs> oh, no. You're a necromancer? No, no. I'm a lizard man. Are you a lizard man? Yeah. Well, or I could turn you into a shield or a I guess javelin. I can make I guess I can, you know, throwing you, darts. They I'll, eat their own. I'll dead. help I'll help make lots of food for you. They're like Celts. Uh last but certainly not least, uh normally behind the camera tonight. Again, like last Woo! night, uh behind and in front of the camera, Carrie. Carrie, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Uh I'm Carrie. I'm usually running this stuff um today i'm playing Gobi the intellectual a third level wizard half elf me 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 so not too self-important just half 
Just, nice. just half self important. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't realize that was something of playing an elf. I guess I, I was playing Taryn wrong the whole time. Hi, elves. Hi, elves. Hi, elves. Oh, she's half. Hi, elf. So. Yeah. So you're half annoying. Uh, That's right. Half high Go elf help with elf. Gobi survived last night, so Gobi gets to play again tonight. Yeah. Uh, although Gobi and her compatriots nearly freaking drown because somebody <laughs> got their hands dirty and needed to clean. Uh, if you want to watch that episode, it is our Gen Con episode. It, like uh, the CRUD Shit. campaign, is oh. on our uh, channel. <laughs> And it's in the archive and our audio on the archive if you don't want to see the money makers. Tonight we're playing Jade Temple. These guys are all third level. Uh, they're getting a little bit of notoriety, a little claim to fame going on in their homeland next to the jungle. Uh, and the ruler of this region called the Sunan uh, has sent an envoy to talk to these individuals and offer them 1,000 gold pieces for a task. The task being go protect the village that she grew up in. Uh, it's not a huge issue, so she's not going to send the military in. You guys are now uh, getting up there. You know what you're doing. Uh, she thinks that four hardy adventurers can go deal with this problem. The problem being flying humanoids are bothering the farmers and villagers of Tatok, uh, a small village deep within the jungle. Think Indonesia. Uh, these guys have been offered a thousand gold pieces, half up front if you want to go get mounts or equipment. What say ye? Yeah. But is that a thousand a piece or a thousand total? You're third level. That's a thousand a piece. Ooh, so 500 Ooh, gold up anyway. front to buy shit? No, 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 no I'm sorry. Thousand gold total. I was uh, gonna say uh, that's... you dangled that carrot and then you took it away. So... <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> what is that? You know that smells like one hundred and twenty-five. Two hundred fifty. One twenty-five. One twenty-five for eight piece. That's not bad. Deal. Deal. It is. What do you guys want to buy, if anything? I don't know. I've already equipped, so. <laughs> Uh, I can take a quick look at inventory. I, I think I'm probably pretty good. I mean, are we fight? Are we actually fighting flying humanoids? That's what it sounds like. Right. I'm good. And javelins. Who knows what's going to happen? I wish to buy four more javelins. Sure, you got it. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy some more javelins. To sure. Can just add more. They're cheap. They're two and a half gold pieces each. <laughs> so I'll make it 10. Carrying them around, though. I'm strong. That it? Anybody want to buy anything else? I mean, I buy, I buy um, everything else I want to buy, you know, like a ring of flying or whatever, something of flying or, or, pl or plus weapons are probably more than 125 each. <laughs> Only potions are a hundred gold. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll buy a potion of health. One d eight plus two. Anybody else want to buy a potion of healing? One there. Okay. Bumper, Gobi. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Okay, there you go. Anything else you guys want or need? I have a feat that basically gives me a potion of healing, so no worries. There you go. Does it protect you against flying meteors? No, all I have to do is bite somebody, and I get to take some temporary hit points. No, that's what cool. level are we again? Third. Third. Got it. Okay. Uh, it's going to take three days to get to Tok Tok through the jungle, the mighty, mighty jungle, where the lion sleeps at night. You guys ready to go? Yep, sir. Okay. Three days pass uneventfully. Uh, the road to Tok Tok is uh, not really a road per se, but it's a good path, good trail. Uh, there were no incidents. There were no problems. Uh, everything went smooth and seamlessly. 
for once. Uh, as you arrive, the road to Top Hawk uh, made for an easy trip, and you start to pull into the village with daylight fading at the end of day three. You hope the people have food because, you know, if you're going to be heroes. They should treat you like heroes. I mean, this could be Magnificent Four if you want. Uh, sounds of music reach your ears as you come around the corner you notice a garish scene in the middle of these bamboo and thatch huts uh is a what appears to be a funeral pyre uh attached to two large stakes are unusual looking creatures i will take our canna checks please from everybody oh boy that's one of my really good ones that's not one of mine six plus zero is six yep uh eight plus zero is eight so are we on cred (laughs) we'd be dumb and shit i don't have i don't have a bonus to it (laughs) uh adam 21 for adam uh congratulations adam you've outscored your other three combined however you realize (laughs) These creatures are what they call uh, winged kobolds. They're about three feet tall and have the face of a dog uh, with bat-like wings. These creatures are notorious for hunting in packs. Uh, as, you, as you enter the town square, such as it is, uh, two farmers walk over and pitch torches onto the funeral pyre. Flames oh. erupt and the crowd around cheers heartily. Oh, no. uh, everybody hit. is in good spirits uh, and seem to be very happy. I'm going to hope- comment to Thumper, by the way, when he made that comment. I'm like, they probably taste nasty, anyways. What would you know? Adam? They were, nasty. were the cob- Were the kobolds alive when he said the. They were not. Thank God. <laughs> he did say funeral pyre. I would assume it means well. It could have been a funeral pyre for somebody <laughs> that died in the village, and the kobolds were the reason. And they oh, were still you know alive. that would be cool. Can you imagine? Yeah, you 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 burn that per- you burn the corpse, and then you burn the things that killed it alive above it. Upper, That's what I uh, thought was uh, happening. Man. An elderly individual who seems to be in charge uh, begins to approach, and he kind of looks you up one side and down and asks you if you can speak. Yeah. Of course I can speak. What do I look like, a crocodile? (laughs) That's very weird. Yes, that's exactly what you look like. (laughs) Uh, Are you the adventurers they sent to uh, come deal with the problem? Yes. I am Thumper. This is my mall, Betty. Can I have some of that cobalt? Uh, You'll have to walk through the fire to get it. Uh, two individuals that you guys recognize as throwing the torches onto the pyre come up, each hold mugs of some kind of libation, and they cheerfully and gleefully announce that you guys are too late. We have already solved the problem. Oh, excellent. And I guess we'll go home and we'll collect. It's done. Oh, you you are welcome to join gold. our celebration. But... What do these guys look like? Uh, standard, uh, we'll say Indonesian. We'll stick with the Indonesian theme. So uh, this isn't going to go racist at all. <laughs> you guys need help. You know. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They aren't cats, Carol. They aren't tabaxi, for God's sake. I don't hate tabaxi. <laughs> See, uh, you know, anyway. So uh, they have offered, I mean, so they're tiny. It, it, it's night. Uh, yeah, they are slender people. Uh, these guys have offered you to join the celebration. They appreciate the fact that you've come all the way out here uh, for very little need. Uh, and they will talk to one, the Gobi. Uh, they explain to you, uh, since they do not like dealing with the luggage, uh, that, <laughs> you, that uh, last night uh, their encampment here, their settlement was attacked. Uh, and these brave villagers, the two throwing the torches on, managed to capture and kill uh, two of these evil minions and drove the rest off. Uh, so, ergo, 
uh, they have shown their power and courage, uh, and uh, they've resolved the problem themselves. They feel pretty self-sufficient. This is dope. I think we should rest here for a few days. So you don't Tempest. think that they're going to come back? Tempest would appreciate those two. Ha -ha. Nope. nope, nope. They aren't coming back. We got them. They're running scared. They ain't coming back. Maybe it was just a recon mission. Now they're going to come back in full force. Possibly. Uh, Callista, another villager, talks to you and says, I don't think they're coming back. They went towards the haunted uh, temple. So they're probably gone for good. Haunted temple? Let's... Uh, the Jade Temple on top of the mountain. She points to the mountain. Uh, as dusk begins to fall, there's a large, you know, iconic paramount looking fucking mountain up there. Uh, <laughs> it's a couple hours away. You guys are down on the jungle floor and so there's an old temple up there uh, that the military had to wipe out. There were a bunch of snake cultists up there. Uh, worship oh, half snake. <laughs> yes, half snake, half uh, man creatures. Uh, nasty bit. Uh, that was something that we could not deal with, uh, but the military was called upon and they went up there and uh, kicked ass and left only ghosts and wraiths. But, but you said that these bat cobalt things came from there? How do you know that they're gone? We don't know where they came from. That's where the, that's the direction oh. they left them. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, maybe that's if it's empty, yeah, if it's empty, they may be still up there. Well, yeah, possibly, but we don't care because we got drink. Um, and they're not attacking, so I mean, that's true. I don't mind um, taking the battle to them. Yep, uh, <laughs> always a wise choice. Uh, the music uh, raises in uh, level, and uh, everybody is very, very happy. Uh, who wants to drink? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll take a drink at the Village People concert. Sure. <laughs> two and two. Uh, Callista and Adam, how many are you going to have? Adam's just going to have one. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. I'm just going to have one to be Moses, be social. Constitution just... checks. Both social drinkers. Yeah. Check oh, that's safe. not very good. <laughs> that's, a, that's a five on the die. God, I change dice around all the time and they still roll like shit. That's a uh, seven. Fourteen for Adam. Uh, Callista, they notice uh, the look on your face and they ask you, uh, does the viper juice not uh, agree with your liking? Apparently not. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. It's you okay. We didn't dragon. realize that uh, the snake venom would affect you poorly. Mm -hmm. Jiminy just Jiminy like mead. What's mead? Or you have ale? any raw meat? How about ale? We got raw meat. You can go the fire's died down by now. You can go carve off a piece of cobalt. Oh, that'd be lovely. I'll just go rip a leg off and have something to have fun. Sure. That works. Uh Adam and Gobi, what are you guys doing? Is there any salad around here? Green things, <laughs> lettuce. You can talk to the oxen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Never mind. Adam just asks a little more about the snake venom and how's it used in this drink and how they apply it in with their. How does it not and... make you? How does it not make people sick? Well, we milk it and then dilute it. And dilute it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't feel like I'm getting sick. I Do just you didn't know like the it, right? ratio in which you d dilute it? How many parts venom? How many parts? Usually a beverage. squirt or two. A uh, or yes, two. it is a fermented be beverage. And what is okay. the grain? Kelp. Or no, kale. They make kale here. Kale. Like oh, absolute lovely. shit. You can get a kale salad. There you go. I would like a kale salad. <laughs> Uh, Callista, you're going to need to make another con save this time oh, as the no. uh, viper venom starts to course through your veins. Oh, I'm going to make it that time. That's, uh, hang on. I think that's a 16. Yep, that's a 16 plus. You're, you're only plus, queasy. Yeah. Uh, the venom is not going to have any effect on you. Thumper, you managed to wade over the embers, much to the chagrin of the children who are throwing rocks at the two uh charred corpses uh all of the sudden four three uh Callista and adam 
Callista. What's reading it by? 14 plus 216. That is my AC. Adam. Uh, uh. Seven plus two, nine. Nine does not hit. A rock falls and bonks Callista on the head for two hit points of damage. Bam! Bam! Two very large flying apes land and with their great swords swing at citizens, hitting one apiece. Time Ooh. to roll initiative. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's um twenty-two. Eighteen. Good for uh, me. Fifteen for Adam. Seventeen. <coughs> Mine is also an eighteen. Twenty-two begins first. There is one flying ape. One flying ape. Uh, I'll take the one on the right. And, okay. and bonus action rage on my way to him. Sure. But I don't yell anything. You aren't going to beat him with your meat? No, I'm just going to smash him with the ball. <laughs> Fair enough. Hi, meet Betty. Uh, that's a... What is it? Plus six? Okay, is uh, that's 22 to hit. I'm pretty sure that's going to do the thing. Mm -hmm. 14 is your magic number to hit the flying apes. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Nine plus... Four plus two is 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Very nice. Uh, Gobi, I'll let you go next if you'd like. Michael, uh, Michael. You and I tied. That's right. Uh, 20 to hit. That hits. I will be Are you going after the left or the right? The left. Okay. Uh, I will be using Ray of Frost. Okay. Uh, I think one for Ray Frost. It was just 1d8. So it is. Uh, I got three. Mm, better than nothing. Uh, the only one in melee combat aside from the civilians is Thumper. Thumper, uh, the flying ape, is going to slash with his greatsword and then punch you with the pommel of it if he can. The blade. Uh, nine plus five is 14. Nope. 18 is your magic number. Uh, the pommel, 14 plus 5 is 19, so the pommel will get you. Okay. Use a murder hobo. Do it. Nah, too bad. Uh, 2 plus 3 is 5. So uh, I'll take I'm, 3. I'm going to slice a civilian. Sure. And he fails critically. Uh, he will use his second attack to go pick up his sword that missed horribly. Uh, 17, <laughs> Callista, you are up. Okay, bonus action. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Move action. Let me adjust my armor class. Towards the left or towards the right? I'll take on the... I think left is the one that I'm not... Uh, the left is the one that's not being engaged, right? Because he's correct. It got hit on the right. Ray of yeah, so off. I'm going on the left one. Okay. And then I have a great sword. Do I want to try it? Um. Yeah, sure. Let's get a thing. I'm going to use a great weapon master, and I'm going to dock five. So this is going to be a straight D twenty roll. If it doesn't work, then I will. Oh, that's not good. That's only a 10. I really that, rolled a 10. That misses. Yep. Uh, Adam, you are up with a 15 to close out the round. Okay. Uh, the blinding light shoots from Adam's fingers. <laughs> he cast uh, Sacred Flame. At left or right? Uh, which one did Rob smack? Right. Right. I'm going to aim you for mean that bumper? One. Yeah. Yeah, thumper. <laughs> thumper. All right. That's what uh, I do. Yes. Uh, does a... 14 is the magic number. Uh, well, you have to do a dex save. 13 is the number. Oh. Uh, you're screwed because these things have high dex. Matt, 21st of the night. <laughs> okay. This thing so tap dances away. 
<laughs> it's like it it pops its knees apart and lets it go oh. between the danglies. Oh. <laughs> you got anything else or is that it? Uh I mean cantrip is the action, so that's the action. Bonus action. Uh yeah, I'll move uh to join Thumper. So Top of the order, Thumper, uh, your compatriot has joined you, and this thing looks pissed. Pretty unwise of him. <laughs> a one is a one is a one. <laughs> uh, 16 to hit, uh, and uh, 14 points of bludgeoning <clears throat> damage. <clears throat> and can I bonus action unarmed strike? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to bite him. Uh, that's a 20 yep. to hit. And uh, that's seven points of piercing damage. Give me a con check. Sure. Uh, 16 plus five is 21. Oh, plus Taste. seven. Sorry, it's 23. Tastes like chicken. Gobi, you and the apes. So are they both up? Uh, one is engaged with uh, Callista. The other is engaged with both Thumper and Adam. Mm, okay, well, that, that's not what I want to be then. Uh, and Callista's on the one that you attacked last time. Okay. Uh, I will go with Shocking Grasp. Got to run up, and then you got to touch him. Okay. Uh, Twenty-four hits. Okay, and this is shocking. Nice. One d eight. Again with the d eight. And swear she touches him. <laughs> oh, that's true. Wow. It nice. Wasn't a good part, I guess. As you run up, that also puts you in melee, so uh, your odd Callista's even. This roll gets the blade, the other one gets the pommel. Two, uh, Callista blade, Gobi pommel, odd even, Thumper Adam. Nat 20, uh, but that just says <laughs> even, so Adam. Good uh, place to roll a nat 20. Uh, so Callista and Adam. Callista? Ooh, 19 plus. plus. That, hits. that hits. And Adam, uh, two. So that ain't going to hit. Uh, Gobi on the rebound. 13 plus five is 18. I assume that hits. Gobi? I'm sorry. Uh, 18 hit you. The dogs. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Thumper. 15 plus 5, dirty 20. That hits me. Okay, so Thumper and Gobi, you take 6. 2d6 uh, plus 3 for Callista. 2 and a murder hobo. 8 plus 3 is 11 damage. I have 69 uh, Wait, is that, that's against me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it is your turn, Callista, so kick some ass. All right. Uh, Yours is only uh, mildly wounded. Well, hopefully it'll be. Hopefully we'll try to deal with that. I want to channel divinity for a guided strike, which adds plus ten to my attack, and I'm going to take five of that way to try a great weapon master. Okay. Come on, you fucking. That'll hit. In fact, I need to friggin' even do it this time. That's eighteen plus five is twenty-three. Yep. So great sword <clears throat> is two d six plus. 13. All right, so seven, that's 20 points of damage. Nice. And I get a bonus attack to hit again, because War Priest. One of my four times a day. Uh, six, let me just think about that. Uh, I'm not doing great weapon master on this, by the way, um, because I, can't I don't at least I don't think that, that that 10 doesn't carry over. So that's a 16 to hit. That hit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, that was terrible. Roll. That's two ones. 
So that's five more points of damage for a grand total for the whole round of 25 points of damage. Adam, you're up. Yes. Okay. Adam's going to take a swing at uh, (laughs) the Great Ape that's right by me. And let's see. Does a... Ooh. Okay. 24 hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, That is going to be a uh, eight points bludgeoning damage. Uh, puts him down. Bad top, donkey. Top of the order number two, Thumper. Well, if that one's down, <clears throat> I only yep. see one thing to do. Thumper going to swing it. on the other one. <laughs> I'll eat it later. Yeah, I kind of figured you were going to do that. That is a natural 20. I need to nice. roll two more murder hobo dice. That is six... 12, 15, uh, that's uh, 21 points of bludgeoning damage. And I'll go for the bonus unarmed strike, and I'm going to do feeding frenzy. Uh, That is 17 to hit. Yep. And it does three points of piercing damage, and I gain five temporary hit points. Very good. Uh, Gobi, this thing looks like it's on its last leg. You're muted. I'll try to whack it with my quarter staff. There you go. Keep in mind, you and I tied, so even if you kill me, and I'm there. Down. 19. 19 hits it? Okay, and... I'm assuming you will kill it. You should have done your attacks first. <laughs> Oh, mine are coming up right now. Because you're not going to drop, probably not going to drop, well. Five. Oh, yeah. It's going to be dead. However. I don't think you're going to drop. You could drop me, I guess. Well, you aren't there, so. Oh, oh no, you are Yes, there. I yeah. am. What are you yeah. talking oh, yeah. about? The so three what, of us are there. We're all there now, so you get your choice. Not, not Adam. Adam hasn't That's... gone yet. No, so. Adam's not there. Gobi, the one, two. Are. Thumper, three, four. Uh, Callista, five, six. Three, four, and, three, four. Five, Two, Gobi gets the blade. No, uh, <laughs> that's the one person we don't want to hit. Three, Thumper gets the pommel. All right, I'm not going down. Neither, neither, neither. Nine plus five, 14, Gobi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 19 plus five, Thumper. Thumpers oh, yeah. take murder hobo, six. Uh, plus three, take nine. Uh, Gobi, there go my five temporary hit points. Uh, take eight hit points of damage. Jesus. Uh, the great ape falls. Uh, that is the end of both of them. Uh, now you take a okay. look around. You notice the citizens have gone for the hills, hiding under tables and chairs, Fuckers. are now cautiously uh, emerging, and uh, you hear. Cool. I want to walk slow over. Slow clap, the... like in Rudy. <laughs> I want to walk over to the first one. The Rudy killed. clap. That's right. And I want to pick up its great sword, and then I want to grab it, and I want to drag it over to the fire, and toss it on, and say, "Don't let that one cook too long." Give me I a thought you liked check to make sure you don't fall in. I thought you liked yeah. them raw. You That's fine. Like I just I like it both ways, as long as it's me. <laughs> that is my new ringtone. Uh, my strength, my strength check like is twenty three. Yep, you throw yeah. it over your shoulder and into the fire. Wow. <clears throat> the village elder comes back out and takes a look at. I know, great sword. One Gobi says, "You didn't. You don't look so hot." Yeah, I, I don't. I don't feel very good. I'm right. gonna. I have you six need hit help. points. You need some <laughs> healing gonna, there, Gobi. I'm gonna channel divinity. Okay. And uh, 15 points up to your, your max. Wait, uh, can you channel for more than one person or no? Yeah, yeah. It's, All right, uh, so can it, is it 15 for both of us? Because I can use it yeah, too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, choose, I choose any creatures. So. How right. many creatures do you get? Uh, anybody? Is it anybody within range? Choose any creatures within 30 feet of me. Okay. Oh. Then I'll I will heal. That. I will take that point. Oh, I feel so much yep. better now. Are you, are you going to heal the great <laughs> ape? No. no. 
<laughs> of course not. <laughs> <laughs> the villagers roll the other grape ape into Got the lots fire of in this party. <laughs> and the embers pick up and uh, a nice little bonfire goes up. Uh, Thumper has one great yeah. sword. One of the citizens has the other. Uh, you are happy to be informed that the citizens who were struck immediately will live, although one will lose an eye and one will lose another eye. So, oh, uh, well, I mean, if I would have saw that and they were within 30 feet, they would have got the 15 healing too. No, nope. Cr critical damage, uh, they're gonna lose that sight anyway. They will be uh, healed, but that's okay. Uh, the village elder decides, okay. Maybe the two jackasses weren't right, and maybe we still need you guys. Gee, I think. <laughs> I will, uh, well, pre pretty brave of you there while you're bleeding out. Uh, um, I've been healed now, so fuck you guys. He he will bring for, he will call forth Nika, a young woman, maybe late teens, 16, possibly, maybe legal. Uh, she comes forward, and he offers her services to guide you to the temple in the morning. Yes, in the morning. How far away That'll is the fun. temple? About three hours. Oh, that one up there. Okay. Is she going to be okay going up there? Yes, she's been there many times. Uh, this is my daughter. Okay. Just check she it. will only take you to the Jade Temple. She will not assist you further. That's fine. So it is written, so it is done. I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Puma has spoken. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, they will give you guys lodging in a storage hut. Oh, that's they got. Awesome. No win, huh? Uh, uh, there is no uh, Ramada or Hilton here. This is uh, shit creek. Nobody has an extra room. They're <laughs> just going to toss us in It's toe town all unit. over again. <laughs> exactly. Uh, only you're missing the smart people. Uh, <laughs> no, every, every one of these huts is one room, so... I'm pretty happy to camp so in the outdoors. Like self storage unit that they put us in. <laughs> pretty much, it's it's where they gather all their uh, spare parts, their bread fruit, things of that nature. Does anybody want to do watch? Oh, yeah, I can watch. I guess. Or do we want to split up and do watches then? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah. I either gotta be first or last because I can't see shit. Oh, that fire's bright. It's like a beacon. Attack me! There are other, yeah. Well, there are other directions that yep. bad things could come in. Yep. I, I'll take first, or last, or middle, or whatever. I don't care. I don't have dark vision, but it doesn't bother me. I'll take last. I got two volunteers. Who wants to take first? Oh, I'll take first. Okay. I'll do second. Well, if that covers everybody. <laughs> that, that, yeah. So okay, everybody, roll a d twenty. 15. Five. One. Nine. Roll a d4, Thumper. Shall do. <laughs> I'm Here thinking comes the one exhaustion. is probably not going to be good. No. Um, four. Your next four encounters are going to be at disadvantage because you slept like shit. Oh. That's okay. Callista, you didn't sleep real well, but there's no penalty for a five, only the natural one. Uh, the next morning at daybreak, uh, Mika shows up, uh, knocks softly on your hut, uh, and asks if you are ready to go. Uh, she kind of gives Thumper a nice, Oops. soft kick to the ass. I think and, she's interested. And asks if you guys up. are ready. Is there any breakfast? She likes to ski. She hands each of you a sack. Inside the sack is a water skin and some breadfruit from the breadfruit trees. Uh, it tastes not bad. <laughs> is there coffee? Wow. There is no coffee here. That is at Juan Valdez's farm on the other side of the <laughs> All Wow. Right. What's, what's coffee? I've never seen Let's coffee. Let's get this shit over with. You haven't been to Cacophony then, because that No, I can't makes imagine this shit. Kalista uh, probably Kalista probably hasn't been to Cacophony. After three uh, hours of trekking through the jungle on not a road, this thing is 
it, it looks like at some point in time in the past it was a road i.e when the military barged through now it is a path uh, and the fronds of the jungle uh smack at your face at your chest and at your knees uh they do no damage uh insects are starting to come out as it is mid-morning and mika explains to you because none of you ask uh she's just kind of nosy that way and points out that years before uh the cult of the snake people had been friendly to the surrounding villagers uh but as their power and prestige grew their attitudes declined significantly uh the people of the village including her grandfather had to call upon the military uh and that led to uh the discovering of the sunan uh, the lady who runs this nation uh being elevated to her lofty position so in some way uh cleaning out the cultists elevated her to the governmental position she holds now after three hours you guys arrive successfully at a gorge crossing the gorge the crossing the expanse of 50 feet is an old stone bridge decorated with snakes along the side uh the stone is very old it's very aged uh it could use a good power washing but uh if you want to take a look at it i will need a survival roll sure why not take a survival roll at disadvantage i take it yep does this count as an encounter then? No, this this is not an encounter, so this is a normal thing. Oh, Norm, just normal. normal? Yeah. I was hoping you'd be able to burn that on this as an encounter. I was trying, Carol. I was I trying. Know. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and burn one right here. Okay, yeah. 13. Okay. Yeah. Now, what was the... it? Survival? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, 12? Yeah, both of you are pretty sure that this is okay. Now, just past the bridge, over the gorge, is a mountain. Uh, in that mountain, jutting out from it, it, it looks like they've carved away part of the mountain. It, it's like a big viper head that you have to walk through. Only this the fangs nice. are on the on the deck, uh, and they are overgrown in weeds. This uh, is but, a nice place. We could live here. It, you can summer home. I know this. you would like it. Uh, but <laughs> that's a wrong god. Believe uh, that the bridge will hold. Looking down it's going to be a hundred foot drop and no way to hang on uh okay. but the stone bridge is thick very let, thick bridge let me go across first yep i mean i weigh like 375 pounds so if i don't break it nobody will d12 yes of course i'd oh. love to frank hey that's a 12. Peace. i don't know what you rolled Oh, oh no, shit. You want to do it again? Nope. Uh, okay. Ty goes to the runner tonight. Uh, <laughs> you make it over the side, other side, turn around. Hey, guys, with your associates. I give it a six. Maybe a little dirty. One at what, a time. Who wants to go next? Uh, you want to go? I'll go. D12, Gobi. Seven. <laughs> Six. Uh, who's third? I kind of uh, want to get it. I want to get it over with, man. Okay, get it. If over you want to go, I mean, if you want to go, go you ahead and go. get it over with. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I fall off the edge. Apparently, that's a one. Oh, <laughs> shit. I guess I should have won. What? No shit. It doesn't make any sense. So wait, is that there? Is the runner me or you? Usually You're the, the runner. runner. The runner. Okay. Uh, Adam, oh you noticed God. that uh, <laughs> Calypso shouldn't have had so much breakfast, and some of the stones seem to be a little bit looser now that she has crossed over. Just oh, as you start to walk over, you feel a tug pulling you back. It is Mika. She hands you a small pouch and says, when in trouble, put these in your mouth. Okay, I'm but gonna I'm gonna rely on your better judgment for this. Okay, I will wait here. I am not allowed to cross the gorge. I understand. I will inform the others. Take the roll. Okay, 
Uh, what are we rolling? Survival check or dexterity or D twelve? D twelve. Yeah, it's like D twelve roll and not like an actual skill check. Okay. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm gonna die because he's probably gonna roll twelve and I roll one. Yes. And and, and I rolled a twelve and you rolled. Yeah, he rolled a. Tw- That's highs and lows, baby. Uh, all four of you make it across. You see Mika look at you, wave, wave, and disappear into the shrubbery. And and as we're standing there, Homer. I'm gonna pull the <laughs> coil of rope off my belt and go, hmm, and then put it back on my belt. That would have come in handy. Uh, ahead of you oh. again is the snakehead missing the fangs, which are over on the dirt. Everything else is mountain. Uh, it carved right out of the damn mountain. Uh, there's uh, two sets of doors, uh, cool. but they are askew. Uh, no guardians of the bridge tonight. Do you want me to knock? Uh, no, the, do- the doors are askew. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh, the carved wooden doors hang askew on old hinges. The craftsmanship seems to be superior, but years of neglect have taken its toll. On it <clears throat> are a multitude of carvings. I will take a religion check from anybody who wants to be curious. I'll do it. Um, I'm so good at that. Nope. I don't know shit. Okay, I'll do this one. And that's going to be plus zero. 19. No, I got 12. Adam, are you looking? Yeah, I'm looking. So, uh, religion? Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, uh, 19 for Adam. I'm I'm somewhat familiar with serpents, you know. Uh, These carvings appear to be acolytes helping villagers, which would lead you to believe that Mika was accurate in her portrayal uh initially this was the case but as mika has pointed out uh the cult became a little bit too powerful for its britches uh but according to the adornments on the door uh they were here to help they're like the government uh the doors can be pulled open because they are askew they do not fit very well who wants to yank on the door how big is the gap between the doors we listen through first. Not yeah. big enough. You can listen through. You can look through. Uh, I want to. Well, fine. Can I just make? Can I make perception then? To see if, what I can pick up. If you're looking, investigation. If you're listening, perception. I know. Listen. Uh, that's good, actually. Uh, Twenty-one. A slight breeze, and intermittent water dropping. Okay. I don't hear anything other than. Dropping water in a breeze. Gobi, did you want to look in? Yes. Uh, give me an investigation check. Mm. <clears throat> oh, come on. Uh, <clears throat> 17. Uh, you see what appears to be smashed statues along a flagstone corridor uh deeper down the path another pair of doors are askew you do not see any movement okay i tell everybody what i see okay calista do you tell everybody what you hear i did i just did okay uh who wants to do what now i'm gonna yank that door open okay d12 against me okay uh 10. Okay, uh, you managed to pull it open without making too much of a racket. Uh, light begins to flood in. Uh, clearly, what Gobi saw was accurate. There is a lot of rubble inside. Flagstone floor. Two more carved wooden doors about 30 feet beyond. Uh, alcoves intermittently uh, on the sides, both sides. I look up. Got a couple of torches. I can I've cast got, light. Yeah, I've got a couple of alchemical torches that I made. Oh. Two glass tubes, you just shake it. And oh my it. god, fucking I'm rave. an alchemist. Rave glow <laughs> sticks. We have a rave in here. By the way, how high That's is it. the ceiling? Because I'm looking up, because I remember those are flying things. The ceiling here is 12 feet. 
Okay, so we'd bump into them if they were hanging. You would be able ceiling. to yank them by, down by yeah. the legs. Yeah. So there's there nothing is. on the ceiling, right? There is. Yeah. You look up. Uh, every place in this temple had beautiful mosaics. Uh, uh, they have been damaged by a weapon and excrement. Uh, clearly, oh. the military did not much care for the cultists. So this temple is full of shit. In this area, you're you're fighting flying monkeys. You know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, <laughs> that is freaking true, man. It's a 12 foot ceiling, and there are alcoves with some mosaics. It, it's slightly different inside. But for right now, that is all you see. Okay. The alcoves hold partial statues. Uh, the statue heads are down there. Uh, the few heads that remain are that of a hissing snake. The bodies of the statue are human. It's human-esque. What does the floor look like? Flagstone. Typical Yuan-Ti temple. Well, if, if you knew what yon were, yes, yeah. that would be a correct assessment. I guess we go forward. Well, that was why I said it out of character. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go in first? I can go and rise and even be a supper. I'm a, I'm a shield. Like I said, I'm a shield too, actually. There's okay. two tanks in this party. You I think we go. might need them. That's all they got. I do too. Those, uh, I, those apes had a bag of hit points that wasn't tiny. No, and they hit like uh, they hit yeah. like um, um, uh, a really nice carriage that goes really fast. I'm kind of hoping I can give one <laughs> of them back their greatsword, at least temporarily. Oh uh, well, they're dead, so I mean, you and me. No, no, me. I'm expecting more. Yeah, but it wouldn't be their greatsword. I mean, the dead. It's the all right. Says you know. flying monkeys. Who's going in first? What's the marching uh, order? Do you I'm want going me to... first? Okay, you go first. I'm going second. Bumper, Callista. Uh, I'm third. Gobi, then Adam. Uh, um, Thumper. Mm, mm, mm. Pump up your chest. Walk on in. Whew. Place stinks to high heaven. The flagstone floor is uneven. A lot of settling has occurred. Uh, fetid pools of water are present. You Smells can like see home. insect larvae uh, floating around. It is uh, home for you. Not so much for the other three. Uh, as you move forward, you get to a similar set of wooden teak door, teak wood doors. Uh, same carving. Say, hey, you know, we're we're okay. We're the Branch Davidians. All right, right. I guess I guess I'll listen and peer through the crack. Perception for listening. I'm, I'm going to do the best I can to imitate the humans doing it when I do it. Fine, right. I'm going to do it too, just out of spite. <laughs> Oh, perception I'm actually decent at. That's that's not the worst. I uh, rolled God, I keep rolling two on this day. Yeah, so that's only in I'm not close enough to hear. Oh, it's only an eight. Callista hears nothing. Yeah. Bumper hears nothing. Cool. Other than the breeze. Yank door open. Uh D twelve against me. Twelve. Make make a big sound. Twelve. No Ooh, shit. tied. Make tied. a big sound. Uh, you do make a big sound. It does not come yes. off the doors. Uh, you guys notice that this chamber is cavernous, to say the least. Uh -oh. A hole in the ceiling allows light to shine in. Feces, fetid water, and death permeate the air. From oh. the so just to be clear, the light in the window isn't a hole in the sky. So Correct. is this fresh feces? Uh, you are third in line. You do not see yet. Uh, oh, ahead of you, directly ahead of you, about Bell's fresh. About 120 feet away Oof. is a raised yeah. dais oh, yeah. with steps leading up to the top. A fractured throne sits upon it, but on the floor leading from here to there is a pond uh with green algae every once in a while a ripple from water dropping in from the ceiling i'm gonna uh, you guys notice there are four major sets of columns with three pillars three pillars three pillars three pillars okay. all of them is carved snake men 
four pillars stand next on the corners of the water feature going all the way up holding the domed ceiling uh you see a door to the far left and that is it except for a ridge all the way along this square chamber this chamber is about 120 by 120. it is big feces covers the floor the floor is no longer flagstone it is marble once polished it will be very nice what do you guys want to do i want to hook a torch up into the air toward the middle of the room so we can how, get some light up high how high is the ceiling uh the ceiling uh, extends up 50 feet the, anything the, hanging from it the ridge, that's why i'm hucking a torch <laughs> the ridge is about 12 feet up okay anything hanging from the ceiling anything on top of the pillars uh the pillars hold up the oh dome. they're right to the ceiling okay mm -hmm. just checking and the hole is right above the water feature and it's Good 12 by 12. Big hole. Big hole. Can we tell man made? Can we tell if the water feature is very shallow? Like I mean, I would think it's very shallow because it's 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 in the floor. But I mean, I don't know. Is there any way can we tell if it all if it's shallow or if it's deeper I than could toss you in? I stick oh, my no. corner staff in. Are we gonna walk up there? All right, we'll are you guys gonna walk up there? Yeah, see, I was trying to do it before. Before we walked up there, I'm no, expecting I just tucked, a surprise somewhere. I just tucked that torch up there so we could see more of the domed overhead area in case anything was hiding out up there. Well, the sunlight is streaming in from it. Well, yeah, I know. There's all those on. shadowy nooky things around the edges, you know. Well, it's, nookie, it's nookie, a dome, nookie. so you're you're okay. You cannot see above the ridge line until you know the ridge is like that, so yeah. you can see the dome. Yeah, but you can't great. tell what's back here. Yeah. Right, I, this is the trap that's set. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take a rock, a small rock, and I'm gonna toss it into the thing. Let's see if we stir anything up or <laughs> if it just hits the you know, if, if it's shallow, it'll just hit the ground and I'll hear a clunk. Nope, it uh it doesn't clunk. Oh, that is deeper than I thought it was. There might be something and I'm waiting to see if anything freaking comes out of it because I threw a rock in there. Perception check, everybody. Uh, that's good. 14. 22. That's my passive perception, too. 14. Boom. Seven. <laughs> what was yours, Adam? Seven. Everybody but Adam here scratching. Coming where? from where? The ridge. Uh. Ah. Shing. <laughs> I Before, I'm, I'm one goby putting javelins uh, in my hands that's currently. true hey here you go shame does a 12 hit you goby yes uh roll a d20 one to five is one thing uh everything else is something else uh oh, how goby's being hit because hey rock hits goby in the face four hit points of damage Damn. everybody hears he, 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 and shadowy figures start to move above the ridge it looks like you found some more winged kobolds everybody roll initiative, initiative. yes i 20 30. seven 15. 12 for adam Wow. Adam 12. Nice, nice. Solid reference. Uh, Thumper, <laughs> you're up first. These creatures are about uh, 12 feet up off the ground with the ridge. Oh, that close? Nice. I'm going to huck a javelin at one. Go ahead. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 just barely hits. I figured it wasn't that great. Uh, seven points piercing. Uh, with a javelin pierced through its rib cage, it falls, does the old west tumble right into the water, and now we'll see if something's in there. Is floating. Uh, next up, 15, Callista. So, is this something that's 
impossible to climb in a round in an action or a move action? Uh, you want to look around and see if uh, the snake creatures are going to go ahead and support your weight, considering your fat ass nearly broke the bridge. <laughs> She wears heavy armor, so I mean, <laughs> well, there war, you go. war pre hashtag war priest. Um, I you I there are I, four I get, major column collections here. I get javelins too. Sure. Uh, actually, I will do this bonus action. Um, what the hell's the spell here? I will cast. I'll do it first oh, level. Right, command on see. thumper to kill himself. No. Come on, he's a lizard man. Sorry, Bruce, is it the second level? Good. Oh, yeah, no, it's the second level spell. Bonus action, spiritual weapon. Sure. And I get to hit right away. What is I, your spiritual weapon? Uh, yeah, what's it, it look like? Well, since I am of Tempest, I'll make it a war. I'll make it a snazzy looking warhammer with like Boring. lightning, lightning <laughs> bolts on the side. A Gatling gun. That's what, what you should have made it. Uh, no, <laughs> that shoots lightning. No, tempid, <laughs> no, no. She make it uh, Mjolnir. A little cloud. You know what? You know what Mjolnir is, right? I yeah, pronounce it right. Yeah, she's making a Thor's hammer. Uh, let me. Thirteen plus six, right? Plus six is nineteen. I yep. guess whatever I can see there. It's a D eight. Plus four. Uh, 11 points of damage. It does. Uh, all right. And then I'm going to throw a jet. That's my bonus action. My regular action is going to be javelin. Sure. At another one. I assume there's still more there, right? Oh, yeah. There are hundreds of them. Thousands, maybe. Straight or attack maybe roll. 10. 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. Make fun of my dice rolls, will you? Or at eight points of damage. Uh, another one drops. Wow. Ah. That's weird that everything's so easy. Yeah, because it's not. <laughs> uh, next up is the 12, because I got a 9. So, Adam, you're up. Okay. Uh, Read Adam. Uh, <laughs> so it's Adam's first... going to gonna pick one that's still up and test Sacred Flame. So, 13 decks save. Three fails. Okay, Mr. Kobold is gonna take a whopping six points of radiant damage. Poof, it's gonna light up. He implodes four dead. Uh, the rest are either throwing feces or rocks. Uh, there I are spent that from the apes, man. <laughs> there are six, so there are two extra. First extra, we'll go after one, Gobi. And three, uh, Callista. So, gee, what a surprise there! Dice give it, dice take it away. Hey, oh no, no, my wife I, right now. I would be shot. I mean, I killed two of them. I think, I think that's worthy of uh, getting beat on. So, Gobi, uh, there's two on you. Uh, nine and a four, so nine plus three is twelve. Yes. Uh, roll a d twenty. 15. That's a rock. <laughs> uh, for four hit points of damage. Callista, you have two. Uh, 12 and a 10. Does a 15 get you? Nope. Uh, one on Thumper. Uh, that's an 18 plus three, 21. Yes. Adam, a four plus three is seven. Thumper, D20. 18. That's a rock. Nobody's getting through. Oh, yeah. uh, murder hobo six, baby. Uh, that was a waste of an 18, man. Gobi, you're up. I cast Major Armor on myself. Okay. That's the only do you thing have I... any javelins? Yeah, is that the only thing I get to do? Did you say uh, that rock Major did Armor six? It's uh, a bonus action. I think you get an action. Um... You can't, yeah, you but can not attack. A spell. So I guess, let's see. This is my, by the way, this character's my level to that friggin' BS. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna find out what I created is a lot worse than a character. She, she, she's actually a war mage. 
So she probably gets it, but uh, I'm not saying no. I don't. Well, are we talking Warcaster? Yeah. Warcaster. Uh, Warcaster is cool. I think Warcaster is great because you can do a tax of opportunity with spells. You get to and, and hank up that damage too. Yeah, and well, concentration. I think the big the big one there is you roll concentration at um, advantage. advantage. Yeah, I don't think you ratchet up the damage. Remember? Yeah, you do. Uh, maybe so, you do. Can I see the things flying around up there? They're not flying. They are on that ledge. Yeah, but you can see. But them. you can see them. So <coughs> I can do a spell. Uh no. Uh. See. Well, does a uh, warcaster doesn't get two spells, right? No, but, but, okay, but why one. why why would it why would it change that when you normally can? She, you normally yeah, get a I, can of, yeah. Yeah, not, I don't for me. Yeah, see, yeah. It said, That's called a house rule, so no. Yeah, and I said <laughs> I built something that hopefully is gonna wreck your house. Are we done arguing? <laughs> I can't cast a spell. It has to can be. Can I cast a spell? Okay. You gotta you gotta throw something. Okay. Uh, I mean, you got a rock. You just got hit with a fucking rock. You can throw it back at him. All right, sure. What the hell? I'll throw the rock back at him. Uh, dexterity is your modifier. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> hit one of them in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> that would be where's my dexterity. So three. Ooh, was it a nat one? Yes. Uh, go ahead and roll a d4. Uh, you either hit yourself in the foot or yeah, hit one yeah, of these yeah, guys yeah, in the yeah, head. I know. Three. Uh, Callista gets one in the back of the head. Roll a d6 and uh, half damage that thing. Gobi, roll d6 and half. Two. Is that halved? Or... Yes. Oh. There you go. Two hit points, Callista. Top of the order. Four okay. flying kobolds down, Thumper. A lot of good eating here. Oh, I'm going to switch to darts because they're just little kobolds. Sure. I'm still saying those. those are fucking nasty. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Where's my damn D4? There it is. And that's uh, 4 plus 4 is 8 points of piercing damage. <laughs> With the fifth one falling. <clears throat> yeah, how's your morale into, now? Something echoes into your ears. Fly, fly, my pretties. And the entire colony starts to form up and go through the hole in the ceiling you may take opportunity of attacks or you Ooh, can yeah. let them fly away oh no mm. definitely going to take an off attack to throw another dart everybody uh, can take one 24 to hit that's probably going to hit something i uh, don't it's only five points of piercing though uh no uh, six is your magic number i know since i got it i'm gonna use well i mean if you let me just take an attack i'll just use the spiritual weapon uh, what's yeah, the I'll give damage? you the spiritual weapon. Oh, damage is D8 on the spiritual weapon. Okay. Um, four. Oh, wow. Uh, 12 points of damage. Six down. Uh, Adam and Gobi, are you going to take an opportunity attack or just say fuck them? Uh, I'll I take an opportunity attack, but it's a deck save, so. Ooh. Web on the friggin' on the hole. Uh, nine fail for Adam. Gobi uh, just created a hanging net of fucking flying kobolds. <laughs> right on the exit no hole. way. You know what? Let me roll strength check, but there ain't no way these fuckers are going to survive that mess. Three, 16, 6, 6, and 5. You've caught the rest of the colony in the web. Uh, Adam, Snacks. how much damage did you do? Light it. Uh, okay. That would be that was a good six. Move. Uh, that is the magic number. You guys have killed seven. Gobi has collected the rest of them. There are six swinging in the net, screeching uh, like spider monkeys. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. Good move. Good. Really freaking good move. Uh, but, it, it's just. But Gobi said, "Light it up." Go ahead, light it up. I'll throw a flask of oil. <laughs> right. uh, that's a seventeen to hit. Yep. And then, and then I will throw the torch. That's an improvised weapon, I'm sure. Sure. Uh, 
That's yeah. a 14. Good enough to hit that mess. How much damage? Well, it's just a flask of oil and a torch. What do you want to do? It's D6 plus one. Cool. Oh, oh, you cool, may baby. kill a butt. You may yeah. kill a butt. Seven anyways. points of fire damage. They're all emoliated. Yeah. I was the gonna say, you're gonna disappears kill and they are all dead. Silence. And meat rains down upon you. Nope, all charred meat. <laughs> uh, silence he, he likes rains burnt across ends. this room. Do. Everybody, investigation check. That's a 10. 16. By the way, I, I was rolling at disadvantage for all of those attacks. There you go. Uh, 15 for Adam. God damn it. Uh, 9. Uh, Gobi, Thumper, do not notice. Adam, uh, underneath the dirt, the debris, you notice something is attached to these pillars. Callista, since you considered climbing these things, uh, you notice that they are inlaid in. What else? Jade. Jade. So, but not the lower parts. So the military, being the lazy fucks that they were, only took the shit they could reach. Oh, I can get a lot more than that. Uh, and, and you can investigate the rest of the room. You have the raised dais. Uh, you've got the stairs leading up to it. You've oh, got yeah. the doorway on the left. And you've got the four columns of potential jade. Well, the doorway on the left is very interesting to me. What? Uh... So wait, where exactly were these? The where exactly were all these monkeys? And where's Up. my javelin? And his javelin? In a monkey. In a monkey on the deck. How, is it so we have to climb to get up to it? No, they fell off the ledge. Oh, okay. Oh. So we can get our javelins back. Roll a d20. One, two, or three means the javelin is bent or broken. Uh, nope. That's not one, two, or three. My javelin's fine. I lost a go. dart for sure, though. Oh yeah, the darts are fucked. Uh, but the javelins, one, two, or three, either completely broken or bent and useless. Uh, but if you do not get that, then you get your javelins back. Cool. That's a, Although, that's... Thumper, your first kill landed in the water. Yes, yeah, I'm not worried about that. I didn't get my javelin back because I thought about that. I was like, nope, 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 my darts are fucked too. Nobody wants to check the water. I oh, do. yes, I do. I want to check the water. <laughs> Before he does, before anybody does anything, uh, I want to fight. Notice that some damage. Adam, Adam notices that some damage was taking to the party, so he's going to cast uh, a healing word. Sure. Ooh. Uh, I, by the way, actually, everybody, <laughs> everybody, gather around. I can actually do something for all of us. Um, yeah, healing word works for all of us too. I've got I've got aid, which will give her eight hours. We can get um... there's a quilt named after you. <laughs> wow. Yep, I went there. Better than so concentration ba camp. So basically, basically, You've been there before. But, um, let me see. All right, everybody within thirty feet. So everybody gather around. Dispel Bose's allies with toughness and resolve. Choose up to oh three targets within range. Mm, which three of us? Skip me. Each tar okay, that's fair. Uh, each target. So, Gobi and Adam take. Uh, you take. You get five hit points, cool. and your maximum increases. Nice. By five hit points, it's not temporaries. Okay. For eight hours. So, I want to, if we're talking about the water. We want to investigate it. It's just it's kind of a dangerous investigation to undertake. But I've got this uh, 25 feet of chain. <coughs> How about I, Added water How about I cast Thunder Wave down into it? Go for it. I don't it. wake anything up that's down there. I mean, everything in here will hear or here because it's like a 300 foot boom. Well, good. We don't have like to a... run around the building. <laughs> that's right. I, I'm all for it, man. Yeah, you know, just bring, bring on the us. fight. There we go. Bring on the Come fight. Come and get so I cast Thunder Wave. Uh, Gobi cast Thunder Boom. Wave. The water is just pushed back, splattered across uh, the Daz and the, <laughs> the thing. However, remember, this is a rounded temple. The reverberations 
Because oh. you guys are fucking deaf. <laughs> uh, small stones start to fall. Oh, shit. Everybody ah. looks up and the hole is getting larger because the roof is caving in. Uh, I'll just stand out in the middle. <laughs> what do you want to do? I guess dex checks to get out of the way. <laughs> You can head over to the door. Anywhere underneath the ledge may be safe. Be safe. I'm headed uh, for the doorway. <laughs> I'm going to go for the ledge because we haven't checked out that part of the room. I, I go, go for the ledge. Okay. Yeah, and Adam? Ledge. ledge. Uh, okay. Do you want the ledge forward, left, right, or behind? Because remember, the ledge goes all the way around the building. So what, there's a door on the left? There's that's a door, the door on the left. On the that's left. where I'm headed. And then the ledge oh, okay. is that's an fine. overhang. That that's fine. Left is fine as long yeah. as it's some place we haven't checked out yet. So I go for the ledge over by the door. Okay. Adam, so nothing right through the door. So nothing came out of the water. Basically, the, the water disappeared because it's just splattered. Soon. It wasn't that. Yeah, soon. there's a high level spell that got pissed away. Damn. <laughs> the good news is the ceiling's fallen. Uh, everybody make dex. And everything's save. clean now. Dex save. Fail. You're going to love it, Frank. Fail. My dex never... save is a total of four. But wow. yes, it was a one. My Hey, I, I, rolled, I rolled a two, so my dex save was a three. I rolled uh, a two, no. and mine's a two. <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> 19 plus 3, oh, 22. God, at, least, at least the healer made it. it. Adam dives, slides across the marble floor. You will only take half of this. I uh, can't believe you fucking did that. Uh, oh, Little Elbow, it's 3 awesome. and 2. 11 hit points of damage, or 5 if you took half, uh, as stones, jagged stones, pepper you. Uh, that 12 foot hole in the ceiling is now like a 35 foot hole in the ceiling. Sunlight streams in, uh, the dust. <laughs> oh, with all the water, though, all the feces should be gone. No, because you sent it in one direction. Yeah. You should have in synced it. In synced it? Instead of one direction. He's trying for a pop culture reference, God. but it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> you're too yeah. old to do that. Hey! Hey, healer. Boys to men. Even though I can't have it. Hey, healer. Since uh, you're the official healer. Ten, point, uh, ten points of healing with ten the healing back. word I was going to cast. Oh, so. hey, that's nice. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. So you got a door. Uh, everything else is strewn with rubble. So what about the... There's a throne on the dais. There used to be. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, it's shattered. All right, well, maybe just the door then. Yeah, we'll go through the door. Who wants you to go want, through the door first? Do you want to check it out? Do you want me to listen I, I, at it first? I believe, I believe that I stated I was going to run through the door. Yeah, uh, you hit the door. Uh, yep. You did not make it through. And oh. your damage. Uh, you open the door this time, and it's a narrow hallway. Uh, several skeletons are on the floor, uh, their bones Ooh. scattered about, nice. blood streaks on the walls, uh, old, old, old blood streaks, old, old skeletons, another door at the far end. Hey, I have a stupid question. Do we have any idea where the voice came from that said, fly my pretties? Uh, that was just uh, metaphorically. Oh, it was just okay. It wasn't real. I thought maybe <laughs> there'd be like this big badass spellcaster. I, I was hoping. So it could have been. As I mean, the skeletons. I assume that they died with like clothes and armor and shit on. Clothes, <laughs> robes, actually, oh, okay. acolyte robes. So nothing to loot here. Remember, the military is quite efficient if they aren't raping; they're stealing. Yeah, if but you somebody want, could if you want to take a short rest, look, I can make and their heroes. <laughs> Actually, a short rest. Yeah, we we don't have a time frame here. We could take a short rest. I don't see why not. I didn't use my channel divinity, so I'm actually I'm okay if we a, don't. 
Yeah, you you are in a narrow hallway with a door in front and a door in the back. <laughs> Rick, do you need do you, do you feel guys. they need a short rest at this point? I mean, it wouldn't hurt anything. Everybody's survival check. I, I said I don't. Rest. I don't really. I was gonna say I don't need. Plus, me who's twenty-two. An hour? Uh, 22. We, we lose 10 seconds while we pass an hour 18. in game time. 18. Uh, all four time. of you realize that, uh, uh, you know, you partially destroyed those fucking kobolds home. They'll probably, oh, no, you killed them all. Never mind. Yeah. Did we kill <laughs> yeah. them all? Yeah. No, oh, them. None of them got away. Cool. Yeah. She got yeah, no. the shit out of them. Oh, so, yeah. I, I have a couple of legs left if you're hungry. So uh, no, no. This, this hallway is defensible. If you needed to take a short rest, it'll probably be fine. Then let's, but, you guys, I mean, I said, I'm not getting anything well, back from a short rest. I'll get something back from it. I was and, say that, that's fine. And, if you need it, we will take it. And I have this lovely feat that lets me get the benefits of a short rest and make four darts out of bones and things that I can find around the, the emptiness of any carcass. So I'm going to make four more darts. Sure. They could have and, put and, something in their anus. And I'll burn a hit die. <laughs> Always check the anus. There you go. <laughs> I want to burn a hit die for this. Uh, didn't uh, Adam heal you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had, a, I had a little bit of damage left. I just want to top it I'm up. I'm still down by three. It's up to you guys if you burn a, a, a hit die. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I might as well. Well, if I mean, we're we taking three. a if we're taking a short rest, I'm gonna channel yeah. I'm gonna channel divinity, and that's fifteen points. Oh, so, all right. But then. I get it back after a short rest. So. All right, then I will take that, okay. and not bother blowing a hit die. Yeah, might as well not. <laughs> right. Sure. That works out well. We might need short rest later. Who knows? Might need to burn more than one hit die on a short rest later. <clears throat> It's cool. a two-hour show, and you got thirty-five minutes left. To yeah, go. I don't think you're that's fine. How that's <laughs> you still think have to fine. think that way. It's called math. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it's clock watching. I, I, I ran over it last night, so I got to. Okay, let's run it. Do it better. Okay, uh, you guys are done. Uh, the channel divinity is giving you guys twelve points. Uh, there's the door still in front of you. There's the door behind you. There's been no other noise, no other disturbance. Keep going for. Keep going forward. Keep going. Yep. Uh, you open up the other door and you come to a long hallway left to right. Each one of these uh, along the left and on the right, there are a multitude of openings in the wall that are arches. Mm. Not gold. Here, monkey, 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 monkey. Perception check to here. Sure. That's pretty good. 23. Yes, has Adam. the deaf has the deafness worn off? Short short rest, rest, short rest hour, I hope so. will eliminate the. Uh, okay, I'm just making sure. I would hope says, it... I'm gonna listen. Oh, just like, I, I, I had it. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure. I was gonna say, if it doesn't wear off <laughs> after an hour, then there's there's a problem. Callista, there's still only that uh, annoying breeze sound. There's still an annoying breeze sound. Yeah. Wonder where that's coming from. I assume it was not. It's not, obviously not the. There must be the ceiling the hole. Basement. Uh, it's the HVAC system. It's on the fritz. No, <laughs> no frost giants. Not another uh, air, air elemental in the basement. As you guys are at this T intersection, there are several alcoves both sides of the hallway. Uh, two, four, six to the left. Two, four, six to the right. However, the right hallway continues on. The left hallway just dead ends. Maybe. All right, let's go right then. Let's go to the one that continues on. Unless uh, we want to, we could take a quick look at the dead ends, I guess, if that's what people want to do. But if there's really nothing, of uh, nothing apparent there, I would be like to go right, which because it continues on. I mean, clearly there's nothing to fight here. So what is the point? Let's go right. Unless there's something in the hall in the room. Uh, so you want to go right. Uh, there are three rooms on the left, three rooms on the right, and the hallway extends. All right, let's. It's up to you. I, I don't care. We can quickly we look should, in rooms. We should look in alcoves as we pass them instead of just All walking right. by blindly. Each alcove is a 10 by 10 foot room with either a skeleton 
or nothing but a sleeping mat. Uh, everybody, religion check. These are just bloody monks' chambers. Yeah. Uh, Sixteen. Well, he's he's definitely got it over me. Uh, that's uh, a ten. Seven. Uh, fifteen for Adam. Adam and Pepper, bloody monk chambers they are. There's nothing, no personal uh, effects in here. This is where they would go when they were sleeping. Oh, no, no. We need priest chambers, not alkalite chambers. True. Uh, as you continue to venture right, uh, the tunnel or uh, hallway ends into a much larger room, 20, 40, 50 by 50. A giant fire pit is in the center. Above that, fashioned in the chimney itself, uh, is a half snake, half man uh, statue. So even the fucking chimneys here are worshiping their deity. Uh, there is a door on the south wall. Uh, in this room, there are several tables, overturned, uh, rusted cutlery, uh, and other cooking utensils that have been broken. Uh, without a roll, you all assume this is the kitchen. Uh, there are even uh, two skeletons present, uh, probably cooks. Wow, something they are happens. Disjointed skeletons. Something. On the job. I was going to say, something bad happened real fast in this temple. Yeah, the military rushed in and killed everybody. Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, it, they must have hit them real hard, real fast. Tempest Everybody, would be proud. It's the FBI at uh, Texas. And they're killing um, the cooks. It's oh, way go. I know. They killed the innocent cooks. I mean, come on. Well, they, they were cold. That's not really that glorious war, you know. <laughs> Everybody, perception check. Killing I always cooks. thought Jade Mountain was a little more close to Ridley Ridge than Waco, but okay. Nice. Uh, 10. Not great. Perception 18. <laughs> 18. 21 for Adam. Adam, Thumper, Gobi, you uh, more so than Callista notice that that strange whistling, air rustling noise is getting louder. Can I tell what direction it's coming from? Behind the door. Behind the green door. Let's go open the green door. Well, um, okay. Oh, I'm going to go over and open the green door. Does it sound like respiration or <laughs> does it sound like a breeze? Breeze. Yeah, he's, he's definitely 21 right breeze. <laughs> okay. Uh, you open the green door and inside is a uh, not quite dusty but swirling wind. Uh, the shelves are empty in here. Uh, this, you surmise, would be a pantry of some sort. Uh, at the back is a closed off area, possibly cold storage. Everybody, perception check. Yeah. Ooh, 24, natural 20. Wow. My Ooh. dice rolls are going south fast, so that's fine. 13. We'll just leave it that. 21. Gobi, Thumper. Uh, the whistling and breeze is on that left wall. Which is just lined with shelves. Not for long. I'm gonna like swing my maul at that left wall. Sure. Yeah. Just whack up and hit it to quit it. it. Uh. Well, I've got a uh, a twenty and a sixteen, so sixteen. It's all just shelving. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Take 35 fucking points of damage for that jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you Don't look smash, in the DM notebook. That's a D1000. <laughs> you smash through the shelves and you immediately notice that there is an outline of a secret door here. You didn't have to smash it. You just had to pull it open. I like uh, smashing things. Here is a secret door set in the wall. And Aha. As you do this, you can feel You're the mime. breeze. I'm Marcel Marceau. That is your next encounter. Luke, and I found the door. Everybody watches like, who? All right, well, let's Marceau. go through it. Uh, you open it and things drastically change. This is no longer carved. 
tunnels, smooth walls. This is cavernous walls. Even better. This place just keeps getting better. And <laughs> it stinks. I love it here. Let's go. Now, as you begin to move, uh, you almost imperceptibly notice that it is going at a slight, slight incline. Uh, you go about 30, 30 feet and you hang a right, look down the tunnel, it extends 30 feet and goes right again. Every 10 feet you move, it goes down an inch or two. Uh, so you're starting to realize it's a decline, but it's not a horrible decline. I need a marching order at this point. One. Number two. <clears throat> Adam or Gobi, who's third? Uh, I'll take the rear. That way I can heal forward. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll go third. I'm, I'm literally a wall of meat, so. <laughs> uh, Thumper, you are moving, I assume, cautiously. Yeah. Down this, this cavern wall. Uh, I'll even go with stealthily. Not, not not real large so you know every once in a while you kind of feel your head because you're what six foot seven, seven and foot? a half yeah so you're gonna have I'm, to i'm ducked down i don't have any problem with that i go quadruped <laughs> if i need to so you're you're gonna kind of hunch down a little bit you're gonna move uh checking your six checking your forward uh yep. you move around the corner uh after going so it's tight quarters yeah, very tight. Tight quarters, I'm going to have a battle axe in my hand instead of the maul or the greatsword. Sure. Uh, you go about 150 feet, uh, dropping maybe 10, maybe 12 feet down from the original. Right on. And, and mm. it empties into a large cavern. Uh, there are two things that you notice immediately. Guys, guys, does this say cavern. entertainment room for you or what? <laughs> uh, One, I'm thinking you need to go back to your, your, your clan and do a timeshare thing here. <laughs> I told yeah, you, like I'm the last of my clan. Oh, that's so sad. Sorry. Not when you I find a man. You might really be the last. Of then your I will clan be the first of my clan. Uh, the breeze that is coming from the awesome. far, what would be a wall if there was a fucking wall there. It is <laughs> wide open, looking over the expanse of the jungle. Nice. The, the wall is just gone. There are three natural rock features here holding up uh, the ceiling to about 16, 17 feet. Uh, it's irregularly shaped, uh, and there is a carcass of what appears to be a mountain goat, uh, very close to the edge. You cannot tell its cause of death. Oh, dear. Uh, but it is rotting. That's the smell. So no teeth marks or it's torn. It doesn't look you torn will have apart. To in, you will have to investigate. It is not torn apart. How far do I have to go to who's, investigate? I said, who's good at You probably have to go up to it. I mean, 70, I'll come with 75 you. 75 feet. Well, I can't get there in one six second interval, but I'll, we're not, uh, we're not I'll kinda, I, I want to kind of hug around the edges and go toward it. I don't want to walk in a straight path. Left edge? Or right edge. Right edge. I'm gonna there. stick. With, I'm gonna stick with them. Okay. Uh, it is an irregularly shaped room. Yeah. So I will. <laughs> Rough. We get a Frank sketch. That's right. So you guys are coming through here. Yep. You're gonna hug the right wall. Yep. Which is down. Yep. And move out here. These are what? big ass fucking gaps. And yep. where's the goat? The goat is the X and the stone colors are obviously the circles. Yep. So as you circle around right yeah, that's here, fine. Yep. Uh, you are taking the long route. Give me but. you two. Uh, what are Gobi and Adam doing? I'm like, uh, we are so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> We're not being that uh want to say i don't know expeditious so we're are kinda... you following them or are you hanging back uh, spellcasters hanging in the doorway back a bit. <laughs> yeah. hanging back in the fatal funnel is that what i'm hearing 
<laughs> we're kind of we're kind you of, could i mean we're I moving mean, a little bit you've got we're that, you've got that you know you got the rounded part of the room you guys could literally probably hang i bet you this is 30 feet mm -hmm. within 30 feet right uh frank uh, it is about 30 feet. All right. So you guys could literally hang where the thing starts curving around. Okay. And you'd be within 30 feet the, of the us. The mouth of the cave. So when all the flying yeah. shit comes in, they just blast your ass. <laughs> uh, it's like the end of kick ass. Uh -huh. The bazooka. <coughs> this whole this, this whole situation is very strange. So you guys are right to pee. Every, everybody nervous. rolls survival. Oh. Survival's no survivals. That's well. Let me see. I got great. a natural twenty and an eighteen. So that's only a nine for me. That's only a twenty-two for me. Ooh, Adam. Okay. Uh, twenty-two. For Goby. Eighteen. Goby, Adam, the hairs on the back of your neck start to stand up. Thumper, uh, I'm guessing you don't have any hair. <laughs> no, but I feel vibrations very well. I mean, Adam doesn't either. So, but yeah, <laughs> you're you're feeling bad vibrations at this point in time. Thumper, something that goat is just a fucking sacrifice. It's a trap. Something is amiss. Uh, I will take perception checks. Well, I have no doubt something's amiss. Uh, uh, Twenty, dirty. Nineteen. Uh, well, fuck. Ooh, natural twenty for Adam. I think it was. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me look my. Adam, you see into time. Yeah, 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two. <laughs> uh, Gobi, you do not perceive anything. Thumper and Callista, you notice that the uh, air movement has picked up considerably, and you can smell the goat starting to rot. Adam, with a natural 20, does not smell the goat. He smells something else. Everybody roll initiative. Of course, that's the next line. I love that line. <laughs> Arg, baby, third 18. natural twenty. Eighteen. <laughs> no, Adam. we tied. Uh, I have a twenty-three. Okay. I only have a seven this time. A seven. Yeah. Uh, Gobi has a uh fifteen. Not that it matters. Uh, natural twenty, Thumper. I will let you go first. Uh, as you weave your way around uh the goat is right there maybe a foot off the ledge uh and you can kind of even look over and you can tell this is a big drop cool do you want to check Love the it. goat or do you want to check the drop oh i'm gonna i'm gonna swing wide of the drop and get myself about six or eight feet back from that edge as i go around to look at the goat closer sure i just want to look at it uh, it's, got a, it's got a lot of blood along its midline. Give me a, we'll call it a medicine check. See like the back can, of the midline or the, or the sides? We'll, we'll do medicine check to see if you can tell. Uh, no, no, it's just blood. The I'm probably feeling, is... I'm probably feeling mildly intoxicated by the rotting flesh. <laughs> yeah. Salivating, uh, definitely drooling. Fair enough. Uh, Thumper, Callista, give me a perception check. 13? 12. Not great. Nah, not great. That goat do not, just... Do not notice. Adam, you have the high roll. Give me a perception check. Hey, uh, by the way, since I'm with him, can I actually make a medicine check on the goat? Uh, you can on your turn. Yeah. Uh, 20, oh, not step. natural. Uh, I mean, is... something is moving to the left of Thumper. Okay. Uh, As you try and peer around, a large figure moves off of the cavern to the left and opens its maw, and you just see, like, waves headed towards Thumper and Callista. Sure. I will need you both to make a... Dex saving throw. Do okay. not, do not critical fail this. I'm not. No, I didn't. Uh, Adam does call out to them, but Filthy it's 20. probably too late. <laughs> no, uh, 12. 
uh, 12 fails. Yeah, I kind of not surprised. Uh, you guys hear Adam yell, look out! <laughs> uh, Thumper and Callista, as you turn to look at Adam, the head of a large creature comes out of the shadows, opens its maw, and sends a line of force uh, to the 45-foot line, mm. w- which is well within its reach of oh, you. Yeah. 10d4 oh. damage. This is going to hurt. And that's this halved is... on, a, on a successful save? It is yeah. halved on a successful <laughs> save. Uh, the good I'm going news to is, rage. The good news is you didn't critical fail because out you went. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two fours to start it. This is not going to be good. Uh, that's better. That's not bad. Still not bad. That's bad. <laughs> 26 hit points or 13 of force damage. Uh, as a uh, dark green looking dragon, because this is Dungeons and Dragons, has appeared yeah! on the left. <laughs> Had you gone left, you would have surprised it. You went right and gave it a clear line of sight. Fortunately, it has not struck either one of the supports holding the floor or the ceiling up. That brings us to the 18 Adam. So did they go ass over apple cart at, out of the place or just there? Uh, Callista, I believe, is knocked back. Okay. I may, yeah, I may have been knocked you, you back. You were knocked I back 15 s- feet. Still but caught up to right now. They weren't, they weren't, Callista wasn't blown over the precipice. She's just. No, because uh, she did not massively fail it. She is okay. really close. Okay. And you can see the worm moving out of its little den area uh, I will, uh, adam i will put it this way she don't look good yeah that was a lot of freaking damage i am right. still conscious but not by much okay uh adam is gonna uh cast healing where are they within 30 feet of me at this point that was the plan that's yeah. why i asked him if we were 30 feet away from that the curve but you just got hit by force so you got hit by force you're back I mean, 45 feet uh how the hell could i be i mean i'm coming in this way there's the curve how could i freaking go 45 feet because you only wanted to 15. be 30 feet away from them yeah but so you got pushed 15 feet further away from them. so you're 45 um total really freaking abuse because we're on this we're I'm on gonna, this c-shaped thing here and we're coming yeah. around here and they're here I'm gonna so how 20. the hell can i go 45 feet back because you got pushed back 15. oh i gotta push back away from the precipice you got pushed back you can't see it but you got pushed back to the back of the cave do me a favor can you mark where i am on the map i'm have it's not your fault i'm having trouble visualizing this there's a circle X. These okay, guys yeah, are that's over what it here. Does. No, they, they came around to this to the bottom. Yeah, of the curve. Like, yeah, we're, we're they're in the, in the curve. curve. So they're she practically closer. got slammed into them. Yeah, so actually, I should be like next to them. You're, he's going to have to use his movement to heal you. Yeah, which is I'm not gonna, a big deal. No. Yeah, but I'm if, that's what I'm saying. I, although I imagine they were still at the friggin'. If, if Adam's moving to the bottom of the curve, he's going to get hit by the force wave. Oh, so, that happened before his turn. So, so yeah, okay, I'm so. just going to use 15 feet of movement to get sure. within range and then uh, yep. cast uh, Healing Word. Sure. Um, let's see. Uh, how massive are you hurt? Pretty bad, right? Uh, 26 hit points. If you want to know, all right, if you want to know on a, a, okay. a skip, let me put it this way my temporary, my, my aid spell. Is the only reason why I'm conscious. Okay. Next uh, uh, healing word, channel divinity, 15 points okay. within 30 feet. Uh, am, I, am I in range of that or not? Yeah, you know. should be. Is it, is it, what's the range on it? 30, uh, 30 feet. Okay. I uh, use 15 feet of movement to get closer. Gobi, you're up next. 
I have no idea. I'm now full of health and raging and headed towards a dragon. Um, like head on. <laughs> I'm definitely you, a lot you, better. You thought the breath weapon was bad. <laughs> go, go play with its teeth. I'm raging now. Oh, it scares me less. Oh, I know. <laughs> Please do fog cloud. I am. I'm oh my cloud. god. Oh, she's got a fog cloud. Oh, oh boy. That's Carrie's go to. Fog cloud. God damn it. Fog yes. sends seven. Callista, you are covered in a thick uh, fog, but you feel a whole lot better. I can't see shit, so that. You just... cannot see shit at all. I mean, it doesn't matter. I can't cast them anyways. Uh, um, bonus action. Hope the dragon doesn't have true sight. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not, yeah. Or blind sight. That too. Shh. I'm trying to think. Um, blind sense. Sorry. That's I'm not, I want to, all right. You know what? Since I have a moment, this will like, despise me some time. Uh, I'm going to cast... I'll cast Cure Wounds on myself. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Take care of yourself. Uh, yeah, you okay, okay. Are you going to move at all? Uh, possibly. Why? I'm going to do this first and then figure that out. I think we all know why I'm asking. <laughs> well, I mean, I know I mean, I know where the friggin' edge of the thing is. I mean, I'm just going to head Do you? Towards, do yeah. you? Oh, you're in a fog cloud. <laughs> oh, for it's fuck's fog, sake. But you know where you're at. This is, that was a terrible. Not if she rolls a one or a two, it she don't. I'm heading. I'm heading around the other side of the pillars, so uh, that's going to be really hard to fall off the edge. I tip back six more hit points. And do you move? Uh, yeah, I'm going to head towards where I last saw the dragon, but I'm going to definitely stay towards my left. Survival check. That's not in that one. Fucking Frank. Was it that a would two? be a that'd be a dirty fucking twenty. All so. right. So you are Fuck moving. You. <laughs> you are moving left. Uh, top of the order. Uh, the nat twenties go. Thumper. What is my uh, move, by the way? <laughs> you kind of think you know where <laughs> you were at. I'm pretty sure. Sure. I could probably hear where the dragon's at. Now, keep, well, there's the whistling wind, which is going to cause the fog cloud to move at a much faster rate, but not this round. So I'm, I'm still going to head toward where I thought the dragon was. Survival roll first. Do I have to roll that one at disadvantage? Uh, no, this, this is a straight roll. 22. Okay. Uh, the attack is going to be at disadvantage. Oh, yeah, I've been doing that all along. Mm -hmm. Nice well, when I rolled two nat twenties, but th this should be the end of it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. As you as, said. I mean, you said encounters. Cloud, you yeah, said four soon, encounters. As soon as the fog cloud goes away, you should be back up to normal. So, okay, go ahead and uh, uh, do your best to attack. I'm gonna swing, wild swing with my ball. Uh, yeah. Never mind. That's, that's a fifteen. I didn't think so. 15 does not hit. Uh, the creature will... Whoosh. What? I know you're here one. somewhere. It only gets the one attack. <laughs> Did it roll at disadvantage, though, just out of curiosity? No, it doesn't have to roll at disadvantage. Why not? Drop the damn fog. It, it's a worm. It's a dragon. It, has it can... Uh, nine, and tremor sense too. Probably. Nine, Nineteen Plus hits five. So yeah. uh, you feel your ribs crunch. Yeah, yeah, not likely, but yeah, okay. They might. Nine. Nine. Uh, nine plus three. Sorry. Uh, oh, uh, not, oh, nine plus three plus four. Standard. Yeah. Five. Nine plus three plus five. Seventeen. Seventeen. Half. Eight. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight? No, eight. Okay. Round down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm always used to being the DM. Damn it. Uh, uh, 18. 
Adam, uh, you hear a scream. You notice that the vapor is starting to dissipate. Dissipate? Okay. Uh, the breeze is coming in. Yeah, I heard somebody get hurt. So within 30 feet of me, again, boom, healing word, 10 points. <laughs> now, is there a chance you heal the dragon? No, it's who? I it's allies. It's allies. Oh, yeah. how many points? Because I'm in range of that, right? Yeah. You ten. are in range of that. Ten? ten. All right. Well, I'm back at full. <laughs> so am I. Wink. Uh, 15. Gobi. You notice that your spell is not as effective as you thought it would be, uh, but it is still up. So I'm going to yell out to everyone. I said, I'm going to drop the fog cloud. Whatever. I would I do a thumbs up, but you can't see it. Right. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Just letting you know whatever advantage you can take from this take from it and i drop it fair enough callista i go running right to that fucking dragon okay. uh wait let's see oh, oh you see it. It. And, and you see bonus your wizard man ah. <laughs> okay bonus action before i actually make the run i am gonna cast let me go to spells here i am casting shield of faith to up my armor class by two and let me add that into the thing. I've got his teeth. <laughs> All right. And then job, I'm Al. going you to... You were one point away from being dropped off the edge, by the way. That's all right. A critical sure. hit, I'm taking you over. <laughs> Why don't I do my... Since, I, since I'm here, I'll do channel divinity to add 10, subtract 5 for great weapon master to hopefully fucking ruin this guy's day. Uh, what kind of damage is it? Uh, whatever my weapon is. So is uh, it piercing or slashing? That'd be sl a great sword of slashing, right? Yep, great sword okay. slashing. Tell me your damage. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think that's going to do it. 18 Plus, hit this thing. Yeah, well, when I roll fucking five, three. That ain't going to hit. Not even with a plus five. Top of the order. That's a 13. Bumpa, you and me. Damn it. You and I. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it just that? seems like the right thing to do anyway, right? Yeah. Pissed away my nat 20 on the fucking initiative. Uh, does a 23 hit your dragon? Yes. Then your <laughs> dragon will be taking uh, 6, 9... Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning. Yes. Bludgeoning. That's what okay. Maul do. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you are still the... Well, uh, Callista, did you uh, melee attack me? No. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it's a great uh, sword. Yes. I'm going to go one to four thumper. Five or six, Callista. I mean, I did miss, so I mean. Um, yeah, I'm going after Thumper anyway. Yeah. With a bite. Supposed to go after Thumper. 13 plus 5, 18. Tie. Tie goes to me, the runner yep. this time. Yep. Uh, D10 plus 3 plus force. 3 plus 3 is 6. And a 1, 7. I uh, have the 3 damage. Uh, he, he's getting there. He, you hit like a bitch. <laughs> 18, Adam. Uh, by this time, the mists have dissipated because uh, Gobi dropped the spell. What do you want to do? Clearly, you can see that this I'm is I'm going to eat a dragon. <laughs> now that, that uh, Adam has a clear sight on the creature and all that, he is going to cast Bane. Yeah, that's so great. So all his attacks and saving throws are minus a d4. <laughs> Does he get a saving throw? Uh, I don't think so. Bane? No, no. It's no, you're going to just take you that. Take it. You take, <laughs> take it. That Bane. There you go. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Gobi, 15. Spell person. We can't <laughs> do Bane, sorry. You're up. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, nice. You can cast fog cloud again. Yeah, I have nothing. You have nice. No offensive spells. You're a warcaster with no I fireballs. Think, no, I think fireball? Wait, I have magic missile. Catapult's amazing. 
catapult. You catapult. I do have catapult. Yeah. Put six giant vials of alchemist fire into a mesh bag and use the catapult on the mesh bag. She doesn't have that shit. She just got catapult. But there's plenty of rocks lying around. Okay, there we go. Rocks and catapult. How do I do that? Biggest rock you can throw. What does this you gotta hit say? Me, you? I don't know. Oh, this yeah, spell. you have to you have to make a ranged spell attack, and then it does a fuck ton of damage. That's true. Uh... So hit me if you can. Use your biggest spell. And if, if it's a one, you're gonna hit thumper or yeah, yeah, yeah. Alista. I know. Uh, I got twelve. Uh, not even close. Shit. Rocks go flying into the wall. Uh, shards go everywhere. Callista, you're up. Uh, bonus action: cast divine favor on myself, which does just does a little more damage. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ! I cannot roll the friggin' hit. That's an eight. Nope. Top of the order, right. round three. Uh, Thumper, you and the Jade Wormling are going at it. Yeah. I'll let you go first. Maybe it's a female and you could like take that for your mate. Ooh. Ooh, nice. That sounds like <laughs> a good idea. Seduction on it. Can you, 19. Can you, can you, can you, 19 hits. Dragonborn have to be made somehow. Think outside uh, of the box. Th thank you, Murder Hobo. That's uh, 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Nicely I done. love those little murder hobos when they show up. Stabby, stabby. Uh, this round, I'll go 50-50. Uh, odd thumper, even. Calista? Why oh. bother? I'm not even noticeable here. Five. Uh, thumper again with the bite. Yes! Totally friggin' round makes sense, man. Three, though. Don't forget your bane. Tick-tock. Uh, this is where uh, the rubber meets the road as my breath weapon starts to come back. Uh, 14 minus 2 plus Five, so 17, Bumper. Swing and a miss. Just a Eight. little low on that one, by Eight. one. Yeah. 18, Adam. We have the same AC right now. <laughs> uh, I have it all Adam the time. Adam is going to cast a spiritual weapon. Huh? What is it? It better be fucking cool. <laughs> it is. Yeah, what's Adam's a, spiritual weapon? It is a, a gauntlet. <laughs> It's it a, a what? Gauntlet. Teddy bear. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hey, you Teddy know what? Bear. I'm a war priest. I go no nonsense. So, what else did you expect? Oh, I like me on there as my giant weapon. flaming electric guitar. Wow! <laughs> That's that. Maybe if I'm playing a, you know, maybe if I'm playing Taryn and like she becomes a priest. I mean, that would make sense. Okay. The what? The the weapon's up and does a 19 hit. 19 does hit. 18 okay. your magic number. All right. And it is going to take uh, 10 points of force damage <laughs> as a gauntlet comes up and bitch slaps the, the dragon. Uh, it does not move at your attack. Doesn't have to. <laughs> it's just like, bitch. Uh, no. <laughs> It doesn't have any effect. Oh, oh Dam shit. damage immunities, force. Worse? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, shit. So take that thunder wave shit and shove it ass, boys and girls. Uh, Gobi, you are. Guess up. what? Force doesn't work. <laughs> it's like hitting a really big guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, Julia, I did not catch that's exactly what it was like it was just like it went up bitch slapped him <laughs> oh shit <laughs> hey goby you're up thankfully uh, mine is radiant i don't think it's immune to that it is not immune to radiant yep it's got a lot of immunities and resistance Kind of like when Bond punched Jaws. That was what it was. Exactly. So I cast invisibility upon myself. Nice. Of course, it has true sight, so you're still fucked. Uh, yeah, I can see right through it. Uh, Callista, you're up. Plus, also, I imagine, doesn't it have like tremor sense or something, too? True sight's uh, good enough. Forget it. Yeah, I don't, I don't have it listed as having oh, okay. tremor sense. But this is a wormling, so, you know. And I wow. went off the gemstone dragons. 
Emerald Wormling. I'm so fucking mad right now. Is that a one? No, 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 no ones. Do you ones. believe you can fly? <laughs> no I ones. I believe I can fly. No ones, but 17 is the high roll. I rolled, oh, friggin I rolled a 12. <laughs> uh, your weapon rings off its armored scales, bringing us to that, that round four. <laughs> Coming closer. <laughs> Coming closer. <laughs> Worked out good last time. Any other... I don't think I got anything else I can do. Hot damn. I mean, you're you're chopping it down, but... I haven't done shit. Well, uh, Thumper is. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a natural 20, so I get that. Uh, nice. Rolled those. Six, six, four. That's 16, and three is 19 plus six. Uh, that's 25 points of that uh, bludgeoning damage. Whack! I give and you a bonus hint. action. Sure. I give you a hint. It didn't do as much as you thought it did. I know. I, I know. Why do I think slashing is the magic? Well, I have this great sword I'm going to use next time. I'll, I'll, ex I'll explain it once the fight's over. Oh, yeah. You guys are, you guys are chopping it down. Oh, I'm. Yeah. You got to chop action. it down a lot faster because we get that fucking breath weapon. You guys are screwed. 19 to uh, hit. 19 hits. It does. Uh, it takes uh, two plus four, six points of piercing damage, and I gain five temporary <laughs> hit points. <clears throat> six piercing? Yep. Did okay. she just bite a dragon? I bit a I had Not only did I bite a dragon, I bit a chunk out of a dragon and ate it. Right in its nose. I um, ate a dragon! This is why it's hitting you. <laughs> a Adam, you are still not in melee range? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Right. No, I'm not getting in. <laughs> Odd even. Hive again. Thumper is coming at you. Yes! As it should be. It's a girl that likes you. <laughs> uh, 20 minus 4 plus five 21 21 points of damage no oh, no to 21 hit. to hit you it hits me yeah uh nine plus three 12 plus Six. murder hobo uh so nine total yeah i'm chopping you down too this is round four okay they, that's uh, my five Adam, temporary hit points <laughs> Adam, you're up. Okay, Adam's going to cast. <laughs> Adam is going to cast guiding bolt okay. at the, towards the wormling. Sure. Uh, Seventeen to hit. Seventeen does not hit. Okay, 18, it misses. 18, Eighteen. Hits. Okay. God, you want to do like your me. spiritual weapon uh, force damage again? Yeah. <laughs> No, but it's the, the weapon is still there. It's like the the weapon the, you see the gauntlet go. Fair enough. Go be your up. So since my invisibility doesn't do shit, can I miss Well you, you don't know that, but you are also not being attacked. Only All I have two to do people is more than being, half well, the damage it can actually, do to me. Only, only Thumper's being attacked right now. I'm trying to distract the dragon, you guys. Because can I? I can only do one thing, so I, I'll misty step right next to the dragon. Ooh. <laughs> if you're a Star Trek fan, you know who that is. Fair <laughs> enough. You're right next to the dragon, Callista. You thumper and whoo, magically Gobi is right there. It's General enough. Chang is very happy at this point. I may yet kill one of you. <laughs> I want to be a paladin so I can compel a duel, but it, nobody will let it. <laughs> okay. Why compel? It keeps fighting you. <laughs> All know. right. Well, this time, however, uh, so my main attack is a 21, <clears throat> and I get a bonus attack to make another attack mm -hmm. at a 19. Both hit. That would be two hits. What are they? They're both slash, both great swords, they're both slashing. There you go. Oh, that was a crap ass. 
Yeah, at least they hit this time. Well, that was much better. So 10 plus 4, 14 plus 3, because I only had it once. Uh, 17 points of damage for the round. I mean, if you need me, well, I mean, you could just, if there's any resistance, just, you know, obviously have it all. So we are at the start of round five. Hey, by the way, did that seem like it all went through? Yeah, it's, it's bleeding. Yes. Slashing uh, suffer, is the magic. Thing. Before you and I roll, <laughs> I'm going to roll this. If it's odd, it only takes me five rounds. Oh, to get shit. My Wait a minute. Do it, do it. Back. If it's an even, uh, it'll take six. Hey, Frank. Sorry. Yeah. Take another five because I had the uh, I have the other spell going to because um, I've been hit. Uh, the, what the hell was the, the spell, spell? Damn it! <laughs> it was the, 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 the divine favor. Ah, gotcha. And I'm um, hit, so it's still going. Uh, Pupper, I will <laughs> let you go first, and then I will do mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 19 to hit, so I know it hits. Uh, 10, 16 points of uh, slashing damage because I'm using the great sword and I want to bite it again. I'm going to go out with hey. style if I can. Uh, it, 18. It looks like you go right through its skull as its mouth opens up and catches all four of you in the blast I'll as off. its breath weapon goes out. Everybody make your deck save. Oh, God. Hooked on natural 20. Oh, yep. shit. 20. I must be uh, hanging on to its teeth. I believe a 19. Oh, holy shit. That 19. 20. So Yay. everybody takes <laughs> half damage. Yep. And we're not moving. And then I'll take half of that. <laughs> is it? Well, it's not physical, is it? It's not. It's, it's, unless it's psychic, I only take half. It is not psychic. I'm a bear totem barbarian. That's right. I know there's one type out there. Bear was this... the first monster that I ate. I know there was one type of barbarian out there that takes it for more than just. Mrs. Lizard Man must be very upset. Uh, I was what did only we take? seven. What did we take for damage? Hey, I'm not he's, a fucking calculator. He's adding. Oh, okay. It takes uh, 26, so 13. So I'll take six. I'm good. Uh, oh, can I hit it again? Supper buries his blade in its head. The force uh, breath weapon takes off. Two of the columns have been hit, and everybody feels uh. shaking. Uh, what do you want to do, Adam? Uh, he it. Had him calls out, run, <laughs> and then you know, is the is that down? at the you want to run left or right? Uh, <laughs> it's the, dra wait, wait, is the dragon, is the dragon down? That was an FU shot, okay. Mm, left <laughs> towards the doorway. Yeah. Uh, Gobi, what do you want to do? Uh, the dragon is dead. Awesome. I killed a dragon. I ate a dragon. <clears throat> no, I didn't. I ate a little piece of loud. a dragon. Yeah, I'll just I'll follow Adam. Callista? Same thing. I'm going for that door. Bumper? Yeah, if they're running, I'm going with them. Everybody roll dex check to make sure you don't get caught in the rubble. Yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, no way. That's that's a 17 Again. on the die. I got a one. So Dex, check that's uh, it's 18. Adam? Uh, 16. Uh, as Thumper elbows Gobi <laughs> to get the fuck out of the way with his hat 20, uh, Gobi is knocked astray and buried <laughs> under the rubble. Uh, oh, Callista, you also managed to get no. past her. Uh, let's see if Shit. Gobi can survive 66. Is there any way to grab her on the way by? Uh, you will put yourself in danger if you do so, so feel free. Well, what kind of a fucking 
murder hobo would you be if you did that? Well, that's a murder hobo. I tend to play heroes. Uh, what would what would that entail? Uh, if you make your dex check again, uh, you will both take half damage. Don't do it. I have how so many, much damage right now. It's much, not even worth it. Wait, oh, I was gonna say how the much damage has been rolled. I will not announce. It was. I mean, can I take a turn six? at that, that point? No, because she's the last one. She's the only mm. one that can drag. Five d six, right? Six d six. Six d six. Thirty six. God, that is so iffy, and it I can fucking be. A... I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it. No, try I it. yell out. Don't be a hero. <laughs> Ooh, more meat for me. I'm not gonna write. Don't that you stuff. eat me? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not. Didn't make the dex check. I so know you, it's gonna be at least a ten. But I vowed not to let your corpse. It's all right. Away. It's so a you, freak. It's a one shot. So you, I mean, you both take this much damage. I can't see. Holy yeah. shit! I'm down by a lot. Fifteen. What the hell is that? Twenty. Twenty-five. Shit! I only had six left anyway. So. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are gone. Uh, I'm alive. I'm just down. There's no reason. Why can't you heal me? Dude, I'm, only, I'm, only, uh, I'm, just like, I'm only... I'm at zero. I didn't take enough damage to die from massive damage. Uh, can I Can I see? And I don't uh, think you did either. Toby? It's, it's massive damage, it's though, ma right? It's massive damage and dust has filled the chamber. So spare the dime wouldn't work on Gobi, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You don't Gobi know. had six. Wait, Gobi, you had six points? Yes. I can Left. start digging through there. What's your feet? full hit point total? Normal. 20. Oh. 26. And he did how many? 25. 25. You're alive. You were literally alive because he did. He was one point short. You're, you are still you're we're at zero points. Almost dead. Where you you survived by one, but it's ten to twelve, and fuck this, it's a one shot. Yeah, uh, David, what'd you think? That was a tough fight, man. That that was hard. You know, I mean, especially with being the heel bot on this one, you know. So Thank that was you. tough. You you allowed me to kill a dragon and eat a dragon. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, Carol, I would have got you. Yeah, spare, no, I would spare the no. dying and then heal. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I did dug the body. Actually, out actually, truth be told, with three rounds or even two rounds, if you you know, even if I nap, you know, even I rolled a one and a thing. You would have been able to get both of us out. So yeah. it wasn't. I mean, if I could have got to like Gobi's hand or something Gobi like that, was, I would have, have spared the dying. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is close, though. What one point from actually freaking dying from massive damage? You uh, freaking lived. I like to die from massive damage. Dave, what do you think? Yeah. No, oh, I'm, you, I'm, you're calling I'm, Rob, I'm Dave. Sorry, Rob, yeah. 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 <laughs> he is Dave. <laughs> I killed a dragon. I ate a dragon. I'm happy. And Carrie, what do you think? Yeah, it's, like, eh. <laughs> it's hard being squishy. <laughs> uh, the Jade Dragon Wormling has rapid adaptation. The dragon may use its reaction when taking damage from a source other than bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage to gain resistance to the damage type dealt until the beginning of its next turn. So that was its big problem. The other one was force breath, uh, exhales force uh, 45 by 10 foot for each creature, uh, DC 14 dex taken 10 D4 damage. So uh, wait, 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 half wait. or uh, on a success. Well, I just want to get the beginning part, the resistance. So it basically, whatever hits it first, it gets res the type of weapon it hits it first gets resistance for the rest of the round the rest of the round. Is that what is oh that's an interesting Till that's the next very interesting turn. Game. so basically so he was doing only half damage and i could do full because i was using something Correct. that wasn't the same ha, ha. Yeah. i'm glad you didn't switch uh damage resistance is fire and poison did when i damage split his head in half force force uh, <laughs> yeah. obviously folks this has been murder hobo good. inc follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archives if you want to shoot the shit follow us uh, or Check out our Discord channel. Uh, if you want to join us in a one shot or on the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that nearly killed you. Uh, and of course, uh, this nearly. game smells like rotting flesh. Mm, yes. Try some adventure sense. Slaughtered uh, 
They mm-hmm. are 100 percent of their Kickstarter, but hell, they got some uh some That's some awesome. goals there, folks. So let's try That's it. That's so awesome. Tomorrow, Margu B. Yeah, I'm doing a second campaign, I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah, it seems uh, like it. Why? <laughs> You're you're the king of double campaigns. Yeah. Oh my follow, god! Follow us uh, tomorrow about four fifteen, folks. I am exhausted. Everybody, uh, dating game kissing wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody.